Uh, I'm Matovu Mohot. Uh, I'm the managing director of Elsmart Conservation Technologies. Uh, this is a company where we are based in Barara. Uh, this place is called Nyakizi Kakova. Uh, based in Barara here, producing charcoal briquettes, uh, basically in all en en clean energy cooking solutions. Um, we started this idea uh, basically uh, from uh, my mother, uh, where my mother suffered from indoor air pollution. And uh, anyway, we found out that she was suffering from indoor air pollution just from the hospital. Uh, but basically, she could have uh, chronic obstructive airway disease, and the doctor advised that please, you should not, you should stop uh, using firewood and charcoal for cooking. So from there, I thought of something that could be used instead of uh, firewood. Uh, but then, by by our family set, you could not afford that. Still, we had, I had to look for something else. Uh, something else to use was like gas or electricity, which was unaffordable to our family setting. So we had to look, I had to look at issues on how to produce, how to do something that could help uh, my mother not uh, producing that smoke like when she was cooking. Uh, from there, at least it has been a very long story. It has been a lot of uh, practical exercises and uh, demonstrations to produce the briquettes. Uh, but finally, uh, cutting the story short, we come out with uh, the briquettes, which is a clean and affordable energy saving solution, uh, which has at least tried to help uh, my mother as well as the community and as uh, Mbara people around, as well as the country at large. Using the briquettes, the charcoal briquettes, uh, for us we call them black gold charcoal briquettes. Why do we call them black gold? It's because, you know, it's, 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 it's charcoal, it's, uh, it's that briquette, where you find at least you'll have, uh, you'll spend a lot of money on it when you're cooking, that's to prepare something to eat. And secondly, the way how the black, the, the, our briquette looks like, it's really honeycomb and it is black gold, as you can say. And uh, with the briquette, it is smoke free because we are looking at that uh, issue of reducing indoor air pollution, which has claimed over 4.5 million deaths annually. Those are, that is from statistics. And uh, it is clean because uh, when you're using it, you just need to put a briquette and uh, you just put a briquette and uh, you just keep on changing the dishes when you're cooking, you get? So it is just clean, Don't need. it's not like charcoal where you need to put, uh, keep on filling charcoal, filling charcoal even after 45 seconds, 45 minutes, as, as, as you can see. But with a briquette, just burns for long hours, that is around six to eight hours. Those are active hours of burning with some hours of, 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 of warming. And that is basically to the honeycomb type of briquette. We also look at uh, producing the small or the stick briquettes, which burns for just only two hours. That is capturing this community of two to three people in a household. But with the charcoal briquette, with the honeycomb briquette, that one we target that big, uh, those big consumers of charcoal and fire because we're looking at reducing deforestation. Because you see, deforestation is it is through deforestation, through cutting down trees that has led to climate changes. Uh, so with the, with our with the use of agricultural waste to produce briquettes, because we use the biodegradable agricultural waste, which we carbonize. We carbonize them. We add uh, we add uh, clay to act as a binder that is to prolong the hours of cooking, and then we produce that briquette. You get the raw materials; they are easy to get because they are just locally available materials. So we find it is really good and uh, it's helping the community. With the charcoal briquette, we just make them out of agriculture waste. These are biodegradable wastes. These wastes, we carbonize them. After carbonizing them, 
then uh, they will make cha. After that cha, then we mix them with clay and cassava flour. This cassava flour and clay are used as a binder that is basically to bring this material into intact and even prolong the hours of burning. So after mixing, the, brick, the, 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 uh, the mixture is used to, to make the briquettes. Uh, currently, we use our locally made, locally made uh, machines, locally made briquette making machines, uh, where we produce, where we use them for production of, of those machines, of, of the briquette. After the briquette is produced, then it is dried on the rack. It is left there for around two days. This is to reduce the moisture content and then uh, so that it can be well moved to the solar dryer. So from, uh, from this, from, from after, after it has reduced the moisture for like one to two days, then transport is transferred to the solar dryer. So within the solar dryer, it is left to stand at least for around six to seven days, depending on the weather condition. So when it is in a dry season, it can just take around three to four days when the briquette is ready for use and it is dry. But when it is like in the rainy season, it can take around one week, one to one, around seven to 10 days. So from there, the briquette is dried and uh, it can be used for lighting. So from there, it is stored or it is taken to the market for, for sale. With a briquette, we have two types of briquettes. Currently, we have uh, the honeycomb type, and these are the briquettes we sell to, we target the big consumers of, of charcoal because our, our, our immediate uh, competitor is charcoal and firewood because we're trying to see on how we can reduce the indoor air pollution, reduce deforestation, and at least, because now we target those big consumers of firewood and charcoal, and those are restaurants, they are schools, they are poultry brooders, yet. So with our briquettes, with our honeycomb type of briquettes, they are doing well with the poultry brooders and restaurants and schools as very well, and they reduce the production costs in those targeted customers. Then with the stick briquettes, those ones are given to, those ones we target the small households, around one to three people in a household, for them, because for them, they just light for around two hours, you get? So at least we are covering the whole population, at least the, those big consumers as well as the households all are covered. Then with that, we even have stoves. We have stoves of different, uh, different sizes. We have the small stoves which can hold the stick briquettes which can burn for around two to three hours and then we have those big stoves they are customized for the briquet for those big briquettes so that they can accommodate those briquettes very well and then we have the triple briquette stove that is a big stove that can hold around three briquettes that one targeting the big restaurants and schools and we even again make the permanent stoves like in schools which can as well use briquettes you get in schools, in, uh, in hospitals, in, uh, in uh, prisons, so that at least these people can use the briquettes as, very, as well. Uh, our social impact on the on, on LSMAT conservation technologies, currently we employ 21, we have 21 staff, and uh, these include female and male as well. With the uh, with the eleven youth, you get because these youth are given employment so that they can also earn a living, so that they can earn a living for their success in this world. And uh, as well, we have the social, we have the economic impact because we are earning. These people are earning as well as us directors and the economy as well because uh, we are paying some ta we are paying taxes to the government. So meaning economically even the government is benefiting from the company as well and uh, with the environmental impacts uh, we are reducing indoor air pollution to the to uh, first to the human beings indoor air pollution with the environment we have uh, at least we are reducing on deforestation because we are carbonizing the agricultural waste to act uh, to produce uh, briquettes instead of putting all the pressure on the forests so we even have afforestation programs as a company we are running we are running a forestation program that is within the, we look for villages and areas outside town. We, we, we carry out our forestation programs 
we pr we plant trees in uh, those uh, bare mountains and hills so that they, at least they can support the environment as well. Uh, we in the production of briquettes, we are looking at uh, how uh, and having automated machines, having the machines automated so that at least we can improve the quality of the product as well as the quantity. And secondly, we look at uh, having a transport vehicle for, for raw materials and supply of our products. Currently, we are using a tukutuku, that is a tricycle, but uh, still we look at uh, having a very big uh, transport van for the uh, transportation of raw materials and delivery of our products to our customers. Uh, thirdly, we should look at, uh, at least if the government could support us in putting, uh, putting uh, at least uh, good uh, policies that could at least help the production in, in uh, providing clean energy that is provided at least like in schools, government schools using these products uh, so that at least it could help us in, uh, in, uh, in helping people in those issues of uh, indoor air pollution which has claimed a lot of lives for people and so that people can also save just by using our products. Uh, we have a variety of innovations we are looking at, uh, more especially now, currently, uh, we're looking at fire starters, and these are, these, are, these are fire lighting sticks, which can be used, they are smoke-free, they are clean, they are affordable, they are eco-friendly, they are environmentally safe, so that at least they can support, bring these people outside, you know, people that have been using uh, uh, peppers and polythene bags to light their stoves, but at least Elsmart conservation technologies coming out with fire starters, which is smoke free and clean, that at least can just light a, a stove within a few minutes. Secondly, we are looking at having uh, solar. Solar. How can we incorporate solar into our into uh, into cooking? So that people can cook with solar, so that as, as an innovation to help and, and reduce the costs in, 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 in production and as well as in household expenditures. Then we look at also having L Smart Gas. L Smart Gas, that is LOPG. How can we uh, how can we brand uh, gas that is specifically for L Smart conservation technologies? Yes, as innovation. Thank you.